Hey, welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Grateful Gap Podcast. Uh, about to get directly to the daily verse before I get into some Grateful Gap talk this morning. Not going to hold y'all long. Um, this is kind of going to be a part two, not a part two of examining the scriptures, but this is going to be an add-on uh, scripture read that um, kind of emphasizes and put a microscope on um, you know, uh, the things I was speaking about, about Jehovah being our provider. And um, this is going to be coming from Matthew, uh, the book of Matthew, where Jesus Christ was speaking um, to the individuals of that time and area. Um, and, and it's still relevant to today. So uh, I'm going to be going over a few definitions and things of that nature. But before I do that, I'm going to get directly to the daily verse. Daily verse for the date of August 4th, 2024, derives from the book of, oh no, I'm sorry. Right from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 1, and it states as follows. To the angel of the congregation in Sardis right, in Sardis right, these are the things that he says, who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your deeds, that you have the name, that you are alive, but you are dead. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 1. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, I will be reading out of Matthew. Um, again, I ain't going to hold y'all too long. It's, the scripture is only about um, less than 10 verses. Uh, but I wanted to give y'all some definitions real quick uh, before I went into the scriptures. Uh, so, anxious, uh, being anxious. Anxious. Okay? Like anxiety. Anxious. So, uh, the definitions of being anxious or anxious is... Um, experiencing worry, unease, or nervousness, typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. And another definition is wanting something very much, typically with a feeling of unease. All right. So again, you know, keywords, worry, unease, nervousness. All right. So now let's get into the scripture. So this is what Jesus Christ says. Again, this this uh, in line is aligns with our account of um, Jehovah being our provider, and th again, this is just more clarity and understanding and uh, concrete information from our um, from the King of Heaven, you know Himself, um, Jesus Christ. So, and again, this from the Book of Matthew, chapter six, uh, verses twenty five through thirty four, and it states as follows. It says, on this account, I say to you, stop being anxious about your lives as to what you will eat or what you will drink or about your bodies as to what you will wear. Does, does not life mean more than food and the body than clothing? Observe intently the birds of heaven. They do not sow seed or reap or gather into storehouses. Yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not worth more than they are? Who of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to his lifespan? Also, why are you anxious about clothing? Take a lesson from the lilies of the field. How they grow, they do not toil, nor do they spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon and all his glory was arrayed as one of these. Now, if this is how God clothes the vegetation of the field that is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much rather clothe you, you with little faith? So never be anxious and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? For all these things are the things the nations are eagerly pursuing. Your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Keep on then seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all, other, and all these other things will be added to you. So never be anxious about the next day, for the next day will have its own anxieties. Each day has enough of its own troubles. Amen. And again, ladies and gentlemen, from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. And again, 
having I think I think this I think this scripture you know had a lot of different contexts in it. Um, it spoke about in ways you know how how we have in faith you know our faith even even being so little it's still you know Jehovah is still providing. So when you really dive all in, you really continue to exercise your faith and become stronger and stronger spiritually and get your routine more and get again you have your practice of exercising your faith on the daily and working at it and working at it. The, the the blessings and the things and the accounts and the and the and the, and the provisions are going to continue to grow and grow and grow, okay. And then our anxieties and the things that we worry about are going to be less and less and less. And granted, yes, we're still imperfect, you know, because me, I'm a man of God, not work, and I really truly do give everything to Jehovah. But I still have worry because I'm I'm imperfect, you know what I mean. But I I I step back, I take I take myself out of the situation. Of, of reality and I just get into my spiritual because I know Jehovah is going to provide and that's what I that's what I you know continue to tell myself I could just try to continue to keep the spirit of the armor at the forefront as much as possible you know continue to keep God's word um, in my mind in my heart uh, you know looking to to get into the Bible and learn and learn different things and see how the things I do in my life are 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 in connection with the Bible and what I need to do better and what I need to stop doing and all these type of things. But it's on a day to day, just like the scripture said. Also, we have to be in the moment of today. You know, we can't worry about what tomorrow is going to bring and things of that nature. We have to focus on being able to get through today and living in this moment and still praising God and and again working on our faith to pursue the kingdom of God, to be righteous, to be become of meek people. Okay, so. Again, it, it, this this uh, scripture here from Matthew six twenty five, which Jesus was talking about again, had different levels, uh, speaking about you know the worries of man and what we need to do to not worry. You know, uh, knowing your worth, knowing your worth, are you not worth more than the birds of the heaven and who who has who gets provided for their food every day? Who are you? Are you not worth more than the vegetation that we eat? That gets their food and, and grow and strong every day. You know what I mean? Like they get that without having to ask or worry about anything. So we should we should have the same mindset that when when we have faith in Jehovah, when we believe in Him, and we're working to be better with God, and we're seeking His face, He's going to do the same things even more that He does provide naturally already. But He's going to do it specifically for you. So um, just you know, again, take heed to that. I always remember that God is the head, and He will you know, provide and protect and do all the things that need to be done for us to be able to continue to worship him as long as we're doing that. He he, he wants his worshipers, you know. Satan can't do anything to us. Jehovah is the Almighty. He has all the power. He's going to crush. He's the reason that Satan's going to be crushed, okay. He the, With his Holy Spirit that he gave, he's given, he given the power to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the King of Heaven. Jesus Christ coming to slay the dragon, you know, so. Jehovah is the is the is the orchestrator of all that, and uh, I just appreciate him. So, you know, continue to stay grounded, continue to keep faith in him, continue to grow our faith, work on it day by day, just like the just like the scripture says. You know, don't be anxious about the next day. The next day will have its own anxieties, but today, be where your feet are, and um, let's just make the best of it. I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Stay focused. Stay prayed up. And until next time, peace.